Hi, Unisport Web TV, Jacob. And I'm here with Aubrey Dolan, a category manager in Adidas. We're going to talk a little bit about Football Boost today. Yeah, because Aubrey, you know a lot about uh, the Adidas Football Boost. Yep. Um, and let's start off by talking about your boots in general. Yep. You just released the new silo, the Adidas Nitro Charge 1.0. Correct. What's the whole idea? with the Nitro Charge? With Nitro Charge, we started again looking at modern day football. Yeah. We've identified a new player. The new player is the engine. Yeah. Javi Martinez, Dani Alves, De Rossi, Lavezzi. These are the modern warriors. These are the players who run, run box yeah. to box. And for us, it was, again, innovating, creating a product which services their need. And that was basically the start of Nitro Charge, endless energy. Looking at energy output, where does the player lose energy, where can we give the player more energy? I think what we have done then in the lab, um, but more importantly on the field of play with players, was identify the key zones. As a result, we were able to identify key technologies that we need to bring to the product. For example, you can see the energy sling which runs across the van. This was very simple. If you looked at players with a high-speed camera, you could actually see in the lateral median movements how players were losing energy. But again, we know football is also a linear game, going in a straight line direction which is why we have the energy sling technology. And what we wanted to do here was create an outsole which gives you a higher energy output. And what we've been able to do is to increase energy output by 63% compared to a standard outsole. It means you, are, you have more energy in the last than you will have wearing any other product on the marketplace. So you can keep running, running, I tell running, you what, running. you're not gonna stop. <laughs> used again the, the, the hybrid charge material, um, which kind of emulates all the good stuff from kangaroo leather, but has all the benefits again of synthetic material. Correct. Is, is hybrid charge the future of football boots? I would say the answer is innovation is the future. This will be what will define the material. Yeah. It's not about what the material is called, it's about what the material does. Yeah. Having spoken to several players, we understand that leather has a, a very high player acceptance, it's very soft, but we can engineer this in. We can innovate in our materials now to not only deliver these two points, but we can also ensure that the material is of a higher quality. We can also ensure that the material is more stable, that it doesn't lose shape, yeah. that it doesn't take up water. So again, we're looking at more from the consumer point of view to say, what can we do more? Adidas is the, the badge of sports, I would say. It is the brand of innovation. When talking energy yep. and, the, and the nitro charge, yep. a lot of people have mentioned that it's also a power boom. What do you think of that? Is that true? We would definitely be able to see it as that because yep. with more energy, you have more power. When we talked about power in the past, it was maybe about shooting power. Exactly. Another boot that is brand new is the LZ2, the, the, the new Predator. And you changed a little bit, yep. but, but it's not a revolution like the last boot. No, was. what we've looked at is evolving the product in 2013. What that means is we've taken the first step, but we can always improve. We can always innovate to perform. How can we optimize the zones? How can we improve the zones? Yeah. And that's what we've done. Well, when you mentioned the future yep. of Predator, I can't help but, but think about the old Predators. And yep. this is not like the Predator of old. No. Is, is that boot? Dead. Predator, from in terms of pure positioning, is about control of the ball. So that hasn't changed. You're probably correct in saying it. If we think back to 1994, when the first Predator was launched, it so was a revolution. Yeah, I think we could say. Yeah, it was. But looking at what is still relevant from a construction, from a weight, from a design point of view. So we needed to integrate in all of this feedback um, to create a product which was more relevant for modern football today, and more importantly, for the modern football of tomorrow. Yeah, because that's our vision cutting-edge football to be one step ahead. Yep. You've got four silos with the addition of, of the Nitro Charge. But why four and why these four? You know, speed, energy, control, and comfort. Very simple, that's, that's what players need. We know there's a speed demon. We know there's an engine out there, the Modern Warrior. Yeah. We also know there's a technical wizard who wants to control the ball. Looking at 11 Pro, we have a player who wants comfort, yeah. the pure default shoe. Uh, and we need these four products because there is a consumer out there for it. These are the four products which we, we currently service with, but we won't stop there. If, if there's more specific products which players need, I think we'll definitely look to service those needs. What, what do you think is the most exciting uh, innovation that you guys have made over the last couple of years? There's a lot of stuff to choose from, and I think that's uh, that's definitely a positive. I would still argue that the Adi Zero F50 has probably been the product which has revolutionized the industry. What do you think, as, as a boot fan, what do you think will happen to football boots? Innovation is, is the key message um, today, and I think that will be driving all of our product creations yeah. moving forward. 
So I think that's what we're embracing and looking to take to the next level in the future. I look forward to seeing that. Okay. Really. Thanks for joining me. Thanks very much. Pleasure. It was a pleasure. Thank you very much. And for you guys out there, this was it from Aubrey and me talking about the Nitro Charge, the Pressure LZ2s, the Addy Zero and the Addy Pure 11 Pro. And if you do have any questions, please feel free it's called, to leave them in the box below. We'll be happy to answer them. Again, that's all for me. But stay fresh until the next time on Unisport Web TV. I'm out. Cheerio.